within this lesson, lesson seven, we're working with multiplication of larger numbers with area models. Here we have 426 times 127. We are multiplying a three-digit number by a three-digit number. It's easier to go ahead and count 127 units of 426 than 426 units of 127. So we'll go ahead and set up our area model accordingly. This way we'll just have to multiply by 127. There will be three columns and three rows. So we'll first break up 426 into 400, 20, and 6. And then we will also break up 127 into 7, the 1's place, and then 20 for the 10's place, and that 1 is worth 100. drawing our area model here. We now just have to multiply some numbers together. 7 times 400, we have 7 times 4, which is 28, and we're talking about hundreds. 7 times 2 tens, that's 14 tens, which is also equal to 140. 7 times 6, which is 42. 20 times 400, that's 2 times 4, which is 8. And then we're talking about 10 hundreds, which is a thousand. So we have 8,000 there. 20 times 20, that's 2 tens times 2 tens. 2 times 2 is 4, and that's actually 400. 20 times 6, which is 120. 400 times 100, 4 times 1, which is 4, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So 100 times 400 is 40,000. 100 times 20, that's 20 hundreds, or 2,000. And 100 times 6, that's 6 hundreds. We actually have the partial products here of 7 times 426 if we just add these numbers all the way across. We have 2800 plus 140 plus 42. That's 426 times 7 right there. That's 3240, 3282. 8000 plus 400, that's 8400 plus another 120 is 8,600. I'm sorry, that's 8,520. And then lastly, we have 40,000 plus 2,000, which is 42,000, and then plus a 600 is 42,600. That last partial products is 100 times 426. So that does make sense there. Let's compare this against the standard algorithm. Move things around just a little bit so that we have a little bit more room. 426 times 127. First thing is we work with the seven ones. That's 7 times 6, which is 42. 2, regroup of 4. 7 times 2, which is 14, plus 4, which is 18. 8, regroup of 1. 7 times 4 hundreds, which is 2,800, plus 1 more hundred is 2,900. That's why we can write that in there. And then we will go ahead and place a zero, so that we can go ahead and work the 2 there, which is worth 20, which, or 2 tens. 2 times 6, which is 12. 2, regroup a 1. Oops, we get through the one here. 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5. 2 times 4, which is 8. And if we start comparing these, you'll actually notice that we have our partial products right there, 8,520. And it looks like we actually added these incorrectly here. Apologies. 2,800 plus 140 plus 142 is actually 
2982. I did have those multiplied correctly. However, when I went to add them, I added them incorrectly. Finally, we have that final one, 426 times that 1 there, which is 100. So we have 426 hundreds. So I can place two zeros, and that's that 4, 2, 6. Now, if I add those carefully, I uh, will have my answer. 2, 0, regroup a 1, 10, 15, 16, 6, regroup a 1, 3, 11, 13, 3, regroup a 1, and 1 plus 4 is 5, so that's 53,602 as our product. Here I have another problem, 2,709 times 314. One of the things that might be helpful is to go ahead and estimate the product. It's close to 3,000. If we were to round 2,709 times 300, place two zeros, because we're working with 300, place three more zeros, three times three is nine, my answer should be somewhere close to 900,000. Setting up an area model. So I'll go ahead and decompose 314 into its parts. It's into four ones, plus a 10, plus 300. Decomposing 2,709 into its parts, we get 2,000 plus 700 plus 9. Multiplying those together, 2,000 times 4 is 8,000. 4 times 700, that's 28 hundreds which is written as 2800, zero, zero. 4 times 9 is 36. 10 times 2,000, that's 20,000. 10 times 700 is 7,000. And 9 tens, of course, is 90. That final row, 300, 3 times 2 is 6, followed by 5 zeros. So that 300 times 2,000 is 60,000. We have 300 times 700, so we get 21, followed by four zeros. That's 210,000. And finally, 300 times 9, which is 2,700. Using our standard algorithm, of course, what it is that we're doing is 2,709 times that 4 first. And that's why we decompose the number within this fashion, from the ones place to the tens place, and then to the hundreds place. 4 times 9 is 36. That's 36 ones. So we place a 6, regroup the 3. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 4 times 7 is 28, where we'll place the 8 and regroup the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10 so that we have 2,709 times 4 equaling 10,836. And if we look right here, 8,000 plus 2,800 is 10,800 plus that 36 right there. Next, we're going 2,709 times that 1, which is worth 110 there. That's why we place a 0. And that's just 2,709 there, so 2,709. So our product of 2,709 times 10 is 27,090. And as you can see, with this partial quotient, partial product here, that's 20,000 plus 7,000 plus 90, exactly the same as we figured out within the standard algorithm. Finally, we have that last one there, where it is we have that 3, which is worth 3 hundreds. That's why we end up placing two zeros first, and then we multiply 3 times 9, which is 27, 7, regroup a 2, 
And then we have 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 2, which is 2. 3 times 7, which is 21, 1 regroup of 2. And 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 2, which is 8. 81, 812,700 of that product for 2,709 times 300. And as we look right here, actually I do have a misplaced comma here, 600,000 plus 210,000 is 810,000, and 810,000 plus another 2,700, just like that is within there, within the standard algorithm. Carefully adding those together, this is our actual product. One plus seven is eight, plus two is ten, zero regroup of one. One plus one is two, plus two is four, plus one more is five. You need to be very careful about placing, lining up those digits so that we are multiplying correctly. So our product of 2,709 times 314 is 850,626, which seems reasonable from our estimate of 900,000.